Tickets to Guyana for grandma's 80th was the plan, until Layla Bast found out she was pregnant and thought, whatever happened to Zika virus? I think it's something that, because it's not in the news, it's not really a threat here anymore, that it is not thought about, and it is a concern for you know, people who are going away, because, I mean, it takes one bite. That's all it takes. A warning etched in her memory because Bast was also pregnant three years ago when the World Health Organization declared Zika a worldwide emergency. Pregnant women bitten by Zika-infected mosquitoes were giving birth to babies with a brain-damaging condition called microcephaly. Forty-five pregnant Canadian women were infected during travel or through sex with an infected partner and as many as five gave birth to babies with severe abnormalities. But now? Even to bring it up to my doctor, he was quite shocked when I asked him to look into it for me. There are currently more than 80 countries reporting risk of Zika, including popular tourist destinations. The overall burden of the disease is likely much lower now compared to what it was three uh, years ago during the epidemic, but it's certainly not 0% in many places. So here's the CDC world map. And you can see, obviously... Mexico. Oh, yeah. Along with countries in the Caribbean and Southeast Asia, including Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and India, places pregnant women are advised to avoid, and couples who are planning to have a baby should be cautious about. I think these are very good conversations to have with the healthcare provider. Every major outbreak and threat that's happening around the world right now is, is here on this map. Dr. Cameron Kahn has been tracking Zika, among other viruses, for years, even predicting Zika would arrive in the U.S. six months before it did. In India, Zika transmission was occurring, you know, in the fall. He and his team use worldwide data, real-time monitoring and artificial intelligence to fuel this early warning system. He says Canadians shouldn't panic over Zika, but the risk of infection is real. This is one of those situations where the likelihood may be quite low, but the consequence may be quite high. Oh my gosh. A risk that Bast simply isn't willing to take. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.